Hey everybody, Sean here, and I hope you're doing well. And special thanks to Carrie Merle for sharing this. It's interesting that it's often the mega churches that have the corruption and many of the false teachers today. Everybody knows about Hillsong's demise. There's many other churches that compromise with the world. And now we have a rise church in New Zealand. We can see that this is indeed a mega church, and as the headline reads, let there be light and legal action. Another report's headline reads, Arise Church Leadership Failures, Egregious and Systemic Report Finds. Egregious means shocking or outstandingly bad. Earlier this year, in May 2022, lead pastors John and Jillian Cameron and John's brother Brent resigned. And to the right, we can see a couple of the things like naked pastor chasing an intern and hush money being offered as well. And let's be honest, you don't usually resign if you've done nothing wrong. This article reads that stories had emerged over many years alleging a culture of unchecked entitlement within the church. And that is something that any leader of a mega church risks falling into, pride and self-entitlement. But if that's the only issue, then we need to pray for those pastors. But down below, we can see a number of things that seem to be a lot more concerning than pride. Many recommendations were given, but one was that they stop tithing for children. Now, teaching children to give is good, but apparently they do teach the Old Testament law of tithing, and teaching the wee ones to do this is just not right. There were reports from over 500 people, and we can see the disturbing topics listed once again. And it shows that these people have revealed that these harmful practices have continued until this day. David Ferrier did a report called Arise Church for Dummies that lays out a step-by-step -step account of what's happened. And I'll leave links to all these articles in the description below. But we can see that he's putting Arise Church on the same level of debauchery as Hillsong. What a shame. Now, we aren't yet in the great falling away or apostasy mentioned in 1 Thessalonians 2-3, but all these corrupt churches and crazy movements are definitely going to be responsible for many that do fall away. Please, keep those affected by this church in your prayers and that God would heal and restore them. And as always, feel free to leave your thoughts in the comments below. And until next time, take care and God bless.